OSHA cites more electrical violations each year than machine guarding violations. Citations get issued under sections 1910.303 and 305. During the last 12 months, those two standards had more than 1,900 citations. The industries most often cited include manufacturing, retail, wholesale, and lodging, as well as food service, transportation, and warehousing. In section 303, the most cited paragraph requires using equipment according to the instructions on the labels. OSHA cites this for things like using fans that are not approved for the location, or even using a residential coffee maker in the workplace. This is also the standard that requires maintaining access and working space around electrical equipment. OSHA cites this when employees place boxes or equipment in front of electrical panels. The other standard is Section 305, which covers wiring. These violations include things like outlets or switches without covers, and improperly using extension cords where permanent wiring should be used. The most cited paragraph says that unused openings in electrical cabinets must be closed. For example, if a circuit breaker panel has an unused breaker space, it must be filled with a blank. It cannot be left open, and placing tape over the empty slot is not sufficient. Every year, more than 2,000 injuries and around 150 employee deaths occur from exposure to electricity. The electrical standards don't specifically require training, but employers should provide training on properly and safely using electrical equipment.